Greetings, one and all. Look at me, eh? I had a question, two questions actually, regarding the Ethos and the Icon Pro. If you saw my previous video, or a couple of videos back, I had them set up like this and I used them, but I just went between them whilst I was doing something else, kind of as a preparation for this. Because somebody had asked me, um, have I compared the two directly? And I thought I must have, surely. But I had a look uh, through my videos and I couldn't find it. There was the Ethos and the SV33. So I'm thinking, my goodness, I don't think I have. Anyway, whether I have or not, um, here it is. And the second question was after I'd done that video on something else where I was using swapping between the two in preparation, if you like, somebody said, um, I wanted to say how surprised I was at the pronounced difference between the Ethos and the Icon Pro. I can barely believe they are from the same manufacturer. Now, when I did the video and I was editing it, I did think, yes, there's a considerable difference. Well, it depends on how considerable things are when you get to a certain level. But anyway, so um, here we go. This is the Ethos on this side, and on this side is the Icon Pro, and I'll endeavour to point as I speak, if you don't see from my slight uh, movement of my head. Anyway, said the duck to the kangaroo, how charmingly sweet you hop, over the land and water too, as if you never would stop. Said the duck to the kangaroo, how charmingly sweet you hop, over the land and water too, as if you never would stop. Said the duck to the kangaroo, how charmingly sweet you hop, over the land and water too, as if you never would stop. Said the duck to the kangaroo, how charmingly sweet you hop, over the land and water too, as if you never would stop. I'm on the Icon Pro. What I notice between the two then is that the Icon Pro, ha, 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 seems to have more of that. And there's less under there, less under there, if I swap over. Ah, 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 hmm, huh, 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 ah, 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 it's a little bit higher maybe, ah, 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 up there rather than ah, 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 it's more ah, 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 underneath, underneath, you can hear when I say that, under, underneath, 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 underneath. Okay, just from that, I would say this is warmer and it doesn't seem to be quite so incisive in the ah place. But uh, quite similar. We're going to look at the specifications, see if we can see anything, make anything of it. I don't know. Have a go. And then I'm going to fiddle about. I'm going to show you. Oh, no. Before we do that, Gonna have a little look under the hood, see what's what. Now, I've got the uh, tops off both of them. Both of the mics are on just to get a bit more gain because obviously I'm behind them, which is why you can hear so much of the room. That didn't work out too well because uh, it wouldn't focus. This is better anyway. I've um, taken it off and I'm now on the Biodynamic M500. As I speak, just, uh, well, because I can't use either of, either of these, but just to ring the changes a bit. So here then is the ethos, as you probably know. This one does say, there was a bit of confusion, it does say prototype, as you can see. Uh, I have uh, reviewed this. The difference was, uh, the confusion was um, with Earthworks that um, I thought it was a prototype, I didn't know it was the ethos actually. But when we sorted things out, they said, yes, the one we've sent you, which actually had this on, is um, the production version apart from this. So I may as well show you that if I haven't done already. This then is a production ethos with this. And uh, the fine grill, inner grill there. May as well, as I said, I'm only going to do this once, so let's go for it. Uh, you'll see that there's a slight difference. This is the Icon Pro there, uh, the thickness 
of that, but that's just all this comes off anyway. We'll see when we take them both off. Other than that and their form at the moment, getting the right way round. I don't know if there's a right way, but so that the text or one lot of text, there it is, is there. So pretty much identical looking to me. Why wouldn't it be if you use a casing? Before I do that, this was the foam that came on this as a prototype. And it's very similar. It's got the inner foam there, inner mesh. I don't know. I felt uh, the insides here, they look the same. Looking at these foams and they look identical. Both with quite thick. So I'm up to my little finger if I go there. And then there, so you can see up to about there is a quite a thick layer of foam. This even thicker. Hmm, I didn't notice that before. So up to there. And put it back by the mic. I'm just scratching the inside foam. This is ridiculous, I know, but why not? Because the texture of that, to me, seems to be, here we go. Don't know if you can hear, but there's something a bit different about whatever that uh, layer of quite thick foam is. This The other one is a, uh, seems to be a bit more porous, a bit grainier. It feels different. Anyway, for all intents and purposes, well, they must have changed it for some reason. But anyway, the reason I mentioned that is because... Um, I'm going to use, I use this foam on the Icon Pro, though, as, as you'll have heard from the video. Uh, um, foam. <laughs> well, but then you've got to be so careful. Anyway, here we go. Let's get rid of this. So this one has a slide off. This bit can just slide off. So if you wanted to use it, uh, Ethos, either without this protection and just rely on that or rely on that with a mesh pop screen quite easy to do you just slide that off let's see how close you can get to the diaphragm so you'll be able to get close enough you'll lose that much we're not going to get that close anyway even with a screen on top so there you go just a quick look at that if you want to i don't know if this is simply to stop the foam deforming because without it, of course, and you might damage that possibly, or the inner mesh, which I did do with this a little bit. You can't see, I'm sure. Well, you might be able to see those wrinkles in there, so it has been um, compromised just a little. But I don't know. Or maybe it's a Faraday cage. I don't know. The Icon Pro. Now, things start to appear nowhere near the same. Incidentally, as you know from the Icon Pro review, but say if you go looking it up again, this does come off. And there is the uh, inner mesh. And under here is another fine mesh. So another fine mesh you've got me into. Okay. As you all know, just in passing, this is excellent. Let's just see um, the mount M2R triad orbit mount for positioning, so it's great. Okay. Well, obviously. <laughs> Nowhere near the same size. Don't know if it can focus that close, it seems to. Well. Hmm. 
uh, much the same. I'm suspecting this one's slightly heavier, but then I would say that because I can see that this bit's slightly bigger. So you can't trust yourself. There you go then. All very nicely made. That slips on there quite nice easily. Job done. And probably for most of the rest of the review, I'm probably going to use this. So Incidentally, this foam, the prototype foam, I don't know if this actually exists as a, a thing, doesn't slide off, but as you can see, it can be deformed quite easily, but I don't know if this one actually exists these days. It might have been just a prototype. You can buy something like this for the uh, Icon Pro, I believe, so I'd imagine it might just be that one. I, I, I just don't know. You have to find out, but what difference? So there they both are. Fully foamed up. You'd have trouble telling them apart. Okay. Hopefully that was much clearer than the uh, blurred effort that I started with. Okay, I'm back on the uh, the uh, ethos for the moment. Um, what might I expect? from diaphragm size, just from my experience, and bearing in mind, I don't really know. Well, one thing that does make sense, I know with speakers you have a large woofer to handle the bass, you often have a mid, then you have a tweeter, you can imagine that the tweeter, there's no way it could take, just blow it anyway, but it just couldn't shift the air for the lower notes. What I believe then tends to, tends to be the case is that uh, um, the larger the diaphragm, the more easily it's going to reproduce the bass, but also you need to keep the thing stiff and rigid. So obviously the bigger the surface area, harder that might be to do. You have to imagine make it thicker perhaps and so on. And it won't respond to the very high frequencies. So what I would expect then with a smaller diaphragm is that it would delineate, it would find it easier up in the high end. And particularly with the breath sounds, all those complex uh, vibrations up there would find that easier but it might have much less output when it wants to move slowly because it's not inclined to really because it's light and wants to move its resonant frequency would be, would be higher. Uh, from the larger diaphragm, I'd expect it to find the lower frequencies easier and it might start to struggle a bit with the upper frequencies, maybe. I don't know, so that's kind of what I'd expect. So we're going to have a look at the uh, specifications from the Earthworks site and see if we can glean anything from that. Here's the uh, the chart. Let me tell you what the specs are. Well, you can see them mostly. It's both of them are from 20 hertz to 30 kilohertz. Mind you, if you look at the graph, you'll see that's all very well, but the 20 on one of them is minus 20 and or minus and minus 10 dB. So uh, the rise time, in other words. The speed of it, if you like, stopping and starting, for both of them is 11.67 microseconds. The Ethos is super cardioid, and the Icon Pro is cardioid. Looking at the graph, the Ethos uh, frequency trace has been sort of smoothed, really. I'm not sure why there's so many lines, but they all seem to be the same anyway terms of shape anyway so it looks just just completely flat up to what is that five uh up to four and then goes up a bit not very much if you look at the dp scale on the side what's that about one or two two maybe two or three which is meant to be you can't hear less than that anyway so they say and then it goes up to uh what 12 and then down a bit and then straight again to 30k if you can hear that but as I've said before I'm not sure it's necessarily about hearing that I think it might be a consequence of the speed and look at the shape you can see it's um, super cardioid but I'm more interested in listening really than those shapes when it comes to that kind of thing looking at the Icon Pro very flat 
just slight undulations up at the top there all the way to 30k just a little down just under 20 whether you can hear that or not i don't know and then a little bit of just under 20 a little bit of a shelf maybe the tiniest bit above which is maybe what i can hear i don't know or what i can hear might be a consequence of the lower end on my voice tailing off so that for me is uh the most with my voice anyway the most noticeable thing as you can see if it's uh 12 inches away it starts dropping off just around just a little under 500 if it's closer then um it starts dropping off about 100 and what i don't know 100 maybe even 200 possibly just starting and then dips away so that for me is would be looking at that would be the most significant thing I would um, imagine and actually listening to them I reckon we can kind of hear that I've got here testing the specs and I don't know how I'm going to do this but uh, I just go through um, we'll look at the breath area then that's I don't know what frequency that is I'm going to do a video on that I'm going to figure out what frequency it is it's not right at the top but it's quite high and it's quite complex so this is the uh, 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 ethos which I've been on all this time. I'm going to listen there. Icon Pro. The Icon Pro's got a different tone, hasn't it? Mm. Does that make any different? Well, it does make a difference, but... Again, there's a slight... The lower end. I don't know if you can hear that. I'll do it again. On the ethos, there's a kind of whoo, 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 but it's not that low. I think it's the octave above, even in the breath from the shape of the mouth that's there, kind of brooding underneath, but you can't really hear it on this. Getting very fussy, really. Um, low end, then. Again, on the Icon Pro, because it's reduced somewhat, though it is fairly similar, I feel, uh, in, uh, somehow, but it leaves more of the uh, upper area exposed, so it gets a little, you hear more of the breath. It just happens to be my voice, which tends when I'm on notes like that, I tend to have the breath and kind of the close to the fundamental, but not much in the way of harmonics when I'm down there, which might fill in the middle a little bit, so it's a little bit, my voice is a little bit extreme like that, so if you get rid of one of them, then you've got much more of that showing through. Yeah, so it alters the tone a little. I'll try the S's at the top, see if we notice anything. Now to my ears, with that really squeaky stuff, would I say that this is slightly attenuated? You don't, you don't know, do you? Is this attenuated or this boosting? It's got to that stage, really. But there's less of it here and more of it here, it seems to me. One more time. like the Icon Pro is just a little bit faster or something. It says not. Well, says not. 
but the diaphragm's noticeably smaller, so I think it's going to have an easier time up the top there. This is just me guessing. I'll do the polar pattern, which is a bit awkward because I'm not going to take them off the stand, so I have to sort of contort myself just a little. This is on the, uh, the ethos, coming round to the side on the ethos, coming round to the side, round to the side, some rejection there, round to the side, round to the side, round to the side, round to the, heading round towards the back, and then it really kicks in there for me. Whoops. Really kicks in there for me, yes. And then I can't really go around the back, but you can get a little bit of an idea there that maybe there's a bit of a leakage there that comes around, coming around to the side, coming around to the side, coming around to the side, coming around, and, and uh, yeah, there, which is like the SV33, it's pretty much full on around there. Not too much of a change as you move around there. Onto the Icon Pro, going round to the side, 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 rejection coming in there, going round to the back as best I can, going round to the back as best I can, and quite tight round the back there. Um, a bit more noticeable, I think, the pattern on the Icon Pro, but it might just be that I couldn't contort myself as much as I would have uh, liked. i also take them off the stands and start fiddling around. Um, how much does that matter? Well, let's see. I'm going to move back a bit and be a bit louder. I'm on the Icon Pro right now. And uh, see how much of the room it gets. Icon Pro then. My life is a bore in this nasty pond, and I long to go out in the world beyond. I wish I could hop like you, said the duck to the kangaroo. Yeah, I can hear the room a bit. Ethos coming up. Ethos. My life is a bore in this nasty pond, and I long to go out in the world beyond. I wish I could hop like you, said the duck to the kangaroo. Listen after duck, because it's short, see if, if, about the room. Duck, duck, duck. Duck, duck, duck. Duck. I think a bit more of the room, not surprisingly. Oh, will be surprisingly. Not surprisingly. From the walls there, either side, because he's cardioid. So I think just a little bit more of the room. This a bit tighter at the side. And the leakage at the back is facing furniture and stuff like that. So you wouldn't expect as much to come back. That, that really, don't know. So that's it with the specification. Then I thought, well, okay. Is it just EQ? No, I'm not an EQ person. And my desk isn't an EQ desk either because the pots are getting all scratchy, as you know. But I won't go on. I won't go on. It's got 80 hertz at the low end. There's going to be a bit of crackling. So I'll sort of, you know, just let it settle. Make sure it's... Contact is okay. The mid I've forgotten, which I'm not going to touch anyway. Well, I might. I think it's 2.5. And the uh, treble is 12k. What then? Being, being on the uh, ethos, if I just roll some of the low end off. I'm on the ethos, taking the low end off. Here's the ethos with the low end completely off. The ethos with the low end completely off. I'm going to put it about half off. Here's the ethos with the low end half off, and I'm going to switch to the Icon Pro. This is the Icon Pro flat. This is the Icon Pro flat. This is the Ethos. Now that leaves that much more exposed, doesn't it? So you see, so we've got to be a bit careful. Let me bring some of that bass back in. This is the Ethos with the bass down just a little. This is the Ethos with the bass down just a little. This is the Icon Pro flat. This is the Icon Pro flat. This is the ethos. Uh, 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 I can still hear that. Uh, uh, uh. It's drier, isn't it? The uh, Icon Pro. Uh, uh. All right, take the bass down a tad more. This is the ethos with the bass down a little bit more. So about just less than half. This is the ethos with the bass down a little bit more. This is the Icon Pro. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is that, I hesitate to call it sizzling, but that high end on the Icon Pro is still there, even though I've kind of got the bases as near as I can. I'm going to put the ethos, uh, ethos back, where am I? On the ethos now, I'm going to put that back to flat. This is the ethos flat. Check the others as well. Yeah, I'm sure I did that. 
Ethos flat, Icon Pro flat. Ethos flat, Icon Pro flat. All right, let me add some bass to the Icon Pro. Now I've added full bass to the Icon Pro. Sorry about the scratching again. Don't touch it. This is the full bass to the Icon Pro. Icon Pro with full bass at 80 hertz. Ethos flat. Ethos flat. Icon Pro with full bass. So that's giving a bit slightly unnatural down there. So I'm going to take a little bit of that off about halfway. This is the Icon Pro with the bass on halfway. This is the Icon Pro with the bass on halfway. This is the Ethos flat. This is the Ethos flat. This is the Icon Pro. This is the... Still got a bit of that. Am I going to take the treble down? This is the Icon Pro with the bass boosted and the treble reduced a little. This is the Icon Pro with the bass boosted and the treble reduced a little. This is the Earthworks flat. This is a Ethos flat. Flat. This is the Icon Pro. Um, I'm going to put everything flat because I've had enough. So have you. What I think I'm noticing then. This is the Ethos. This is. This is. This is. This is, this is, this is. This one, to my ears, has a little, ha, 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 has a little bit of that lift at the top. And obviously the reduced bass. I have heard this with um, somebody I watch, a doctor, does a series of things on, oh, no, she's not, oh, it's on Icon Pro. Um, I've got to find myself thinking, I wonder why. Because I wouldn't have thought he was, didn't seem to be the person to be interested in it. Well, who knows? You know, I'm just, just a little bit surprised for some reason. And so I've heard a quite a, I've heard him quite a lot. Now I wouldn't say his voice, his voice doesn't go very low. It just speaks. Obviously, it's very clear. So maybe that's what the Icon Pro does. If it's really about speech, I mean, I, I don't want his voice to be mellifluous. No, it is fine. But I'm interested in the details and the medical terms he used, which I'm not familiar with. They're very clear. I can hear what he's saying, which you don't need the low end. I'm going to roll the low end off the Icon Pro, so there's hardly any of it there. So here, you've got the Icon Pro with hardly any of the low end. And if I boost the mid, if I boost the mid there, then you can you can hear all those consonants. You can hear what I'm saying. It doesn't sound particularly mellifluous, but you can hear that's if that's the important thing which it was originally with microphones, I'm sure. So it was military and um, announcements and so on. Probably wasn't singing and music to the very begin with. And they had limited band, they realized, bandwidth anyway. And they realized that that intelligibility part, that intelligibility meant you could understand me putting it flat. So to me, that's what, uh, it's the Icon Pro flat now. So to me, that's what this tends to do. This tends to do. Do you notice that a little bit? If I go back to the ethos, well, the ethos, where it's warmer, I would say then that if you're doing storybooks, maybe, voiceovers, where maybe you need to do things down there sometimes and you need to move around a bit more. So I'd, I'd kind of say this is a more musical microphone. I'd, I'd much rather have this for singing than uh, this. But this might work as a very practical microphone depending on your situation. Have I got anything else to say? No, but I'm only going to do this once. So, yeah. Oh, before I do that, I'll give you an idea then what this foam does. This isn't it's very close to the one you get for this. I think this was the one that was sent with this when it was a prototype. And then they sent me this one. So that's why I've got this one, which was this one when it was a prototype. But mm, I doubt there's any difference. So here's the pops on the Icon Pro. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. 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 So I'm thinking from this that if you've got a somebody who's not used to using microphones or you're just very busy and you're, you're going to be quite clumsy, seems to me it's pretty good. 
partly because it didn't go low, or as low, it's got that reduced. Maybe that's part of the deal, so that anybody can use it, and you're not going to get thumps, you've got a lot of post-production to do, ruined takes. P -p 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 -p. Obviously, if I really try, I can get some through. Maybe just try the this one that goes lower, similar, very similar foam. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. So very good with that. If I'm really clumsy, then, as you would expect. Hasn't got the... It's rolled off. So there you go. Maybe it's that. Now, what about this? Alrighty. Now I'm on the Icon Pro even there pro with the original top i'm on the icon pro with the original top now is it me i'm not going to swap them about i'm sure you don't want me to but i'm i'm thinking it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it sounds a little bit different it does it sounds a little bit different i'm gonna to have to swap it back i'll cut the video to make it all quick but i'm noticing immediately as i breathe in that it's more open and this uh but there seems to be a little bit more, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, that in there. Seems to be more of that in there. There seems to be more of that in there. It just seems to be, it seems to be noticeably clearer. I can't trust my ears, because by the time I unscrew them and put them back on, I can't tell. But obviously I think I can. So I'll cut the swapping about bit out, and we'll see. Okay, as is now. Said the duck to the kangaroo, How charmingly sweet you hop, Over the land and water too, As if you never would stop. My life is a bore in this nasty pond, And I long to go out in the world beyond. I wish I could hop like you, Said the duck to the kangaroo. Said the duck to the kangaroo, How charmingly sweet you hop, Over the land and water too, As if you never would stop. My life is a bore in this nasty pond, and I long to go out in the world beyond. I wish I could hop like you, said the duck to the kangaroo. From me just doing it here, I'm thinking there's a bit more quack, and is not as open. So I'm going to put the original back on, and that'll be it. Said the duck, even when I said the duck to the kangaroo, how charmingly sweet you hop, over the land and water too, as if you never would stop. My life is a bore in this nasty pond, and I long to go out in the world beyond. I wish I could hop like you. Said the duck to the kangaroo. Said the duck to the kangaroo. You understand? Well, I'll see when I edit it, but I, uh, I, uh, I, I, I prefer this. Well, well, well. So what you need to do is get expert with your positioning. Either use it further away, or if you need to use it a bit closer, you'll have to learn your mic technique a bit. Get expert with your positioning. 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 Not too close, but you can bring it close if you want, but you're going to have to do something like this. Yeah, and bring it uh, and not have the foam. If that makes you unhappy or you have problems with it, or you could have the foam for people who are not so experienced. But to me, that's more open. So I know what you're thinking now. And you know, you, I said I was finished. But you know what I've got to do, don't you? In the words of Sir Joseph, Basil Jet. I'm only going to do this once, so I might as well do it properly. This then is the ethos as is. This then is the ethos as is. My life is a bore in this nasty pond, and I long to go out in the world beyond. I wish I could hop like you, said the duck to the kangaroo. My life is a bore 
in this nasty pond, and I long to go out in the world beyond. I wish I could hop like you, said the duck to the kangaroo. My life is a bore in this nasty pond, and I long to go out in the world beyond. I wish I could hop like you, said the duck to the kangaroo. My life is a bore in this nasty pond, and I long to go out in the world beyond. I wish I could hop like you, said the duck to the kangaroo. That's enough. Keep well.